Welcome to the Short Rules Explanation of Earth 2053, Tipping Point. In this game, up to four players take on the role of countries working together to avert a global climate catastrophe. The objective is to prevent the seesaw board from tipping over towards the pollution side by placing prevention tokens on one side and keeping pollution tokens at bay on the other. If the board ever fully tips or is completely filled with pollution, all players lose. On the other hand, if the prevention side is filled, everyone wins. To start the game, each player selects a country card and receives starting credits, a specific number of cards, and an indicator of their future round income. Additionally, players place markers on the appropriate levels to represent the fulfillment of various needs in their country. The disaster deck contains escalation level 1 disasters, with a card discarded for each player fewer than 4 for example 3 cards for solo play. The number of disasters placed on the board each round corresponds to the number of players, for example 1 card for solo play. Next, each player chooses a leader who determines the number of cards a player receives each turn, the type of resources gained as a connection bonus, and the amount of credits earned for discarding a card. Players play cards by paying the card's costs, placing the card next to another card in the grid, receiving a connection bonus specified by the leader for each matching color, benefiting from the card's effects, such as drawing cards, increasing income, or removing pollution. Each icon of a category increases the corresponding need category on the player board. If an adjacent category is higher than the increased one, the player receives a bonus. When a need is increased and an adjacent need is higher, the player gains a resource type shown outside the circle between the adjacent categories. The amount is determined by the fulfillment level to which the need was increased. On the border of a disaster card, Arrows indicate the number of influence tokens required to solve the disaster. Influence tokens can be placed on face down cards. To turn cards face down, players can choose to, instead of increasing a need fulfillment level, flip any card of the corresponding category on the board. For example, instead of increasing water fulfillment, a player might choose to flip a water card. Once a card is flipped, players may place influence tokens on it, earned from any source. Solving a disaster requires the indicated amount of influence on all sides of the flipped card. The influence tokens are removed, and prevention tokens as indicated on the disaster card are placed on the seesaw. Flipping a disaster card cancels its pollution production and any active effects. Players play one card each in clockwise order, starting with a random player in the first round and the player who passed first the round before in later rounds. If a player cannot or does not want to play another card, they pass. Once all players passed, the round ends. Pollution is produced by active disasters and placed on the seesaw. Tokens are placed on the seesaw lines, filling a full line from the center to the edges for pollution and from the edges to the center for prevention. A new round begins with the following steps. A. Players receive credits according to their income track and the number of cards indicated on their leader card. B. Each player draws a disaster card and places it next to a matching color on a free field or a face down disaster card. Matching color placement does not provide a connection bonus. If no match is possible, the color does not need to be matched. C. Players engage in a new round of fighting against the disasters. Remember, if the seesaw tips or becomes completely filled with pollution at any point during the game, all players lose. However, if the prevention side is completely filled, everyone wins. Good luck on your mission to save the planet.